Everything is the work of the Lord. Actually, everyone work for the Creator, only they don't understand and they don't feel it. Meaning it's in the quality of bestow the moment we cross the Red Sea? Also, Egypt is the work of the Lord, only in such a way, what? You're running away from that force? No. The whole thing is whether you do it consciously or not. Meaning the fact that we are, from we were idol, uh, being idol worshippers in Egypt is also working the, for the Creator? I want you to understand me correctly. You're not running away from the dominion of the Creator, not even for a moment. The upper light is the first in everything. It operates, it determines everything. There is no action against it or outside of it. In order to bring you to an equivalence of form, to, uh, to evolve, the upper light conceals itself. It operates through the achoraim, the posterior, through the concealment. It's like I don't want to influence you directly, so I organize some kind of uh, means that will influence you. And Thus, you advance. But still, we are only in contact with Him. There is none else besides Him. And all of our actions are necessitated by Him. And all the best and worst actions, everything is done by Him. And the will to receive cannot move unless by the light in different ways it influences it, but our whole work is to discover it, to discover it. When I draw, what I draw is the Creator, come and see, I come to such a recognition under whose control I am, who determines, who decides. Uh, but it's not that I'm free of him right now. Rather, I'm free in my consciousness because I don't feel him. Therefore, Egypt... Well, of course the Creator operates in Egypt and he alone operates. There is no one else to operate on the will to receive. But me... Well, everything is about me about the one who attains 